question and answer time, this time on subcontractors and VAT. As a business accountant, my team and I spend all day long helping business owners on their journey. And I thought it'd be great to do a little Q&A series, taking some of the comments we receive from viewers and answering those because I think they're questions that are shared and a lot of them we answer multiple times as well. So I picked out some interesting ones and you'll see some of these videos coming over the next few months. So the first question, I wanted to pick up was one looking at a subcontractor invoice that has a materials charge in it and there was a question around whether the VAT could be recovered. So before I get into it, if you like these type of videos, make sure to click the subscribe button and the bell below so you get notified whenever we release more videos just like this one. So the question was, it's a very normal thing, we've got a subcontractor invoice here that's probably got labour on it and then it's got some materials and I'm making some assumptions here just based on the normal kind of thing we see. And the question was, well, you know, can I reclaim the VAT? And I'm presuming the business is VAT registered, um, which would prompt this question. Because obviously if you're not VAT registered, then you can't reclaim the VAT either way. And the question was, this um, invoice for materials, can I claim the VAT on that invoice? Because the person billing it is not VAT registered. And that's really, really interesting. And we see this not only in the subcontractor world, but this also happens in professional services. So I'll, I'll come back to that in a minute. But so, and the short answer is no you didn't incur that cost, the subcontractor did, they're rebilling you. The problem with that is what can happen is you actually end up paying more for the materials than you would have if you bought them yourself. Because if you imagine if the materials was 120 pound and your VAT registered, you're reclaiming the 20 pound VAT, so it's only costing you 100 pound. What the subcontractor is doing, if you just rebuild it with no markup on it, and I know some subcontractors like the markup, but if they didn't, it'd be 120 pound to you when it could have cost you 100 pound if you'd bought it directly. Okay, you've gained the cash flow advantage maybe of not buying it on day one and paying them later and things like this, but ultimately the cost is gonna be a problem for you. So you might want to in that situation think, actually, do you know what? I'm gonna go and I'm gonna contract that directly. I'm gonna buy those materials myself. And that, that does occur quite often in those kind of situations. Now, if, they, if the subcontractor was VAT registered, what they would normally do is, because they were incurring that cost, they would normally put on their invoice 100 pound instead of 120 pound and then put the VAT on top. So you still only cost you 100 pound because you'd reclaim the VAT on their invoice on total. So, and I don't know if I've explained that well enough because it's a difficult thing sometimes without graphics and the like, but if they were VAT registered, then, and this is something to watch out for, if you are getting subcontractor invoices or any other professional services where someone's recharging you the cost, if they're VAT registered, what you should expect to see is the net cost. So the cost without VAT being recharged to you and then they're putting the VAT on total on the whole invoice. So you're reclaiming the VAT and it's only costing you that net value. But if they're not VAT registered, like we're talking about in here, then yeah, it's gonna cost you more money. But unfortunately, because you didn't consume the, the service yourself, they weren't, it wasn't you that bought them, you can't reclaim the VAT, they can't reclaim the VAT, and ultimately it's costing you more in the deal doing it in that manner. And as I say, the answer to that is most likely contract yourself for the materials and supply those if you're VAT registered and have them just do the labor, it'll be cheaper in the long run in most situations. So there we go, hopefully that's helped. And usual disclaimer, I've used some assumptions on this particular scenario, and this is broad, generic, in generally everyday situations. So as always with anything like this, make sure you get some specific advice don't take advice for some dude on the internet. That's it. We'll see you in the next one.